Hey. I don't know her whole name. I just met her one Sing, day. Frank. Gave her a nickname. Sing, Frank. Change the whole scenery. Hey, hey. <laughs> one time she can't stop calling Ski. Frank, you singing remix. at my phone. Hey, I'm trying to get on that remix, Lil' Key. All right, put you on it. Come on, man. Lil' Key's in the studio for the morning culture. Yes. It is your first morning culture report right now. 404-741-WVEE. Yeah. So listen up, everybody. Back in 2017, Beyonce tried to trademark her daughter's name, Blue Ivy. Okay. Yes. Remember, as a way to lock down the rights for her daughter's future endeavors. Soon after, a woman named Veronica Morales clapped back, trying to block Beyonce mm. from doing so because she owned a wedding company with the same name, Blue Ivy. Yeah. Established three years before Beyonce and Jay-Z's daughter was even born. Okay. Ooh. Now, the legal battle continues. According to The Blast, reports are now saying that Veronica has requested in court private text messages between Jay-Z and Beyonce's mother, Tina Knowles, as a way to see if she really planned on using the trademark. Mm. Second, <laughs> Veronica and her legal team want to know even if Jay-Z knew of the trademark that she had before their daughter was even born. Wow. By looking at text messages and being very private, of course, Beyonce was like, no, I'm not sharing my personal information. Oh, she said, no, I ain't Veronica's, giving you my... <laughs> what did she say? What'd she she said, no, I'm not giving you my text messages. Okay, that's personal. That's between me and Jay. <laughs> <laughs> being I the private it, celebrity she is, but here's the other thing. Veronica's legal team also wants to see in text messages whether or not Jay-Z even thought about it because earlier when Vanity Fair interviewed Jay-Z about Blue Ivy, he said he had no plans wow. on trademarking the name. Hmm. Now, to clap back, Beyonce was like, yeah, well, that's why you tried to get me to give you $10 million hmm. for the name. Oh, I so this is it. getting real dirty right <laughs> here. I'll tell you yeah, what. Yeah, it's crazy. But look, so if anybody had the opportunity to do a meet and greet with Cardi B and come in contact with Cardi, some people were saying that sometimes she seems like she's not really paying attention. And Cardi B <laughs> <laughs> went to her Instagram to tell you guys exactly why that is. So I'm having a problem, right? Like a lot of people be saying, oh, I met Cardi B and I don't know if she liked me or not because she was looking at me like if I'm crazy or if I was or something. But that's not the problem. The problem is that I have a voice in my head that while I'm talking to people, it just start having a conversation with me and I be replying <laughs> back. Like you could be talking to me and the voice in my head, I don't know, I don't know where to start asking me questions like, hey, what happened to your green Balenciaga shirt that you wore the other day? And then I reply back in my head like, I don't know, bitch, I think I left it in my grandma's house. <laughs> and then me and the voice in my head start going back and forth Why you talking to me. So I'm really not paying attention because the voice in my head is talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that shit happened to people, that shit be happening to me. So I just be looking at you like, because I'm talking, I'm having a whole conversation in my thoughts. That's why. <laughs> well, there it is. I mean, I can relate. Like, I'm a Gemini. I be having conversations with myself all the time. How many voices are in your head? Oh, so many voices, friend. Okay. I got so many. I, I think what it is <laughs> is that a lot of times strangers come up to you and they want to have these long conversations. You know what yeah. I mean? Do they do that can to you, you relate? Keith? Like, yeah, people be sure. thinking they know you and have just long conversations? They knew me all their life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, y'all got to keep the conversation short because yeah. Cardi be going in her head, man. Listen, folks. March 23rd is a big day, especially if you're a kid. If you're a part of that kid culture, it's the Nickelodeon Kids Choice Awards. But they actually going to have a special performance by Migos. <laughs> That's a big deal, all right? That's that's, That's next Saturday. DJ Khaled is going to be hosting the entire award show. Everything yeah. having to do with kids' culture, music, food, movies, etc. But Migos is going to go out there and perform. Are they going to do like a kids' bop version, or how are they going to do it? I would assume they're going to. I mean, they wouldn't do Bad and Bougie. I mean, why not? I guess kids what? love kids love Bad and Bougie. Yeah. Why not? Why Keith, not? It, it, you got a song coming out with Offset, nah? Oh, yeah, for sure. You see, would you be able to do that song at the Kids Choice Awards? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. I hate that. It's, it's not that difficult. He is kid friendly. Yeah. yeah, and then DJ Mustard is going to be out there with the Migos as well. So, March 23rd, make sure you tune in. Migos at Nickelodeon's Kid Choice Awards. That's <laughs> next Saturday night. All right, everybody. That is your culture report. Little Keith is in the studio. We're going to the one and only coming up next in just nine minutes Swamp Izzo. Hey. He came from, he came from the Blue Flame mm. to set it on fire in the studio. Yes. The morning Drip is up next right here on the Morning Culture. <laughs> we doing it for the culture, y'all.